I've already applied my Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over the lid and under the lower lashes. So now I'm going to take my Tarte Coral Crush Palette. So first I'm going to take this color, it's called Tropical Suntan and it's a soft brown. And I'm just going to take a Real Techniques crease brush. I'm just placing this right into the crease. And it's really soft and smooth. It blends really nice. Very pigmented too. Awesome transition color. So I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Lavender. I need to sharpen mine, but that's what it looks like. And I'm going to place this all over the eyelid. And I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Alright, I'm going to take this shade right over here. It's called Paradise Pink. And I'm going to use a flat shader brush. I'm going to pop this color right on the inner corner. Right over that eyeshadow base. So next I'm going to take this purple, it's called Lilac Mist, and I'm going to use the same flat shader brush for this. And I'm going to put this on the middle portion of the lid. Next I'm going to take this color, it's called Sandy Gray, and I'm going to use a flat shader brush. And I'm just going to pat this right on the outer corner and blend that into the purple really well. I'm going to go back in with the crease color and just kind of blend really nicely between all of those colors. So I'm going to take this dark brown called Coco Cabana and I'm going to use that same brush and I'm going to deepen out the outer portion of the crease. Deepen out, deepen up. So I'm going to take the light brown and a pencil brush and I'm going to apply that on the lower lash line. So now I'm going to go in with the dark brown and also apply that right along the lashes. I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush. And I like this because it's so soft and it's really good for blending. So I'm using this to blend out the upper edge. And I'm just using a light hand. So I'm going to go back in with that pink and I'm just going to add it to the very inner corner. There's not like a white or off-white in here, but this is close enough. This is just a nice color to brighten up the inner tear duct area. So I'm going to take my Jordana Made to Last Liquid Eyeliner Pencil. And this is my first time using this pencil. I just got it the other day. Um, it's only like, I think it's only $2.99 or $1.99 or something like that. So we'll see how it works. But, I mean, it's very soft and pigmented. We'll just see how long it lasts. So I'm putting this on the lower lash line. So I'm also going to tight line with this.
And the easiest way for me to tight line is to actually look away while I'm doing it. Like look to the left or look to the right. It does make my eyes water a little bit when I do that, but that's okay. So I'm going to take an angled eyeliner eyeshadow brush. This one needs to be wiped off. And I'm going to go back in with the brown, the dark brown. And I'm going to wear this as eyeliner on the upper lash line. It's a really nice dark chocolatey brown. I like this palette a lot actually. The colors are really nice. Back over the lower lash line with the dark brown. So for my brow bone shade, I'm just gonna use my Tarte powder. This is the Amazonian Clay Pressed Mineral Powder in Fair. And I have this all over my face already. And as you can see, mine has those, you know when you get oil residue on the powder, that's what it leaves behind. Yeah. So I'm just going to take this with a flat shader brush as my brow bone. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes. This is just a Revlon eyelash curler. And I'm going to apply this mascara, which I've been loving. It's the YSL Shocking Mascara. I got this with a Sephora purchase. And I love this brush so much. And the formula is nice too. But I'm one of those people that don't like spending a lot of money on mascara, so. I don't know, I'll have to see how much this mascara costs for the full size. I would imagine probably in the $20 or $30 range, but that's a lot for a mascara, especially for a product that you use up so quickly, you know? But we will see, but it's really nice if you guys are interested in, you know, higher end mascaras. This is a good one. It's really nice. Separates the lashes very well, uh, really lengthens them, as you can see. So this is what the brush looks like. Very nice. Alright, so I am done applying the mascara. As you can see, it really lengthens and separates the lashes nicely. I don't know, this might be a possible splurge mascara later in life, but we'll have to see how much it costs. But it's really nice, I like it a lot. So let's move on to the face. My foundation, I already applied my Tarte Amazonian clay foundation this is the full coverage foundation i love this stuff it's awesome for oily skin this is in the color medium um i've been tanning a little bit so i did use a darker one i'm usually in light um for concealer i use my nyx my nyx hd photogenic concealer this one is in what is this one this one is in porcelain i think it's the lightest shade and as you can see it really brightens up under the eyes because my foundation is darker than that so for powder, I use the Tarte, this is the Amazonian Clay Pressed Mineral Powder in Fair. Really nice, like that. Alright, so for bronzer, I'm going to use the one in the palette. This is Park Avenue Princess. I already own this one by Am um, Tarte, and I absolutely love it. It's a really good bronzer, matte bronzer. So, I'm going to use this Sonia Kashuk brush. I like this for contouring. Going to go down the sides of my nose, slim it down a little bit. And I'm gonna do the jawline. And I'm 
going to do the sides of my hairline here. So I'm going to take this blush in the middle. It's called Carefree and it's such a pretty shimmery pink. And I'm going to use a Sonia Kashuk blush brush. And I'm going to lightly dust that. Ooh, this is a really gorgeous pink. And you don't need too much. I probably got a little too much there. It's very pigmented. So we'll have to go back in and blend it out with my powder brush. Ooh, look at that. It gives a really nice, um, gosh, it's a really nice little iridescence to it. It's just gorgeous. So I'm going in with my blush brush and just, I mean powder brush, and just blending everything out. Even the bronzer. Just gonna blend it out. My hair is so frizzy today. It's because I um, was in a hurry yesterday to go to my husband's family reunion, and I washed my hair, and I was in a rush, and I did not dry it all the way, so. I like dry it, blue dry it, blue dried it, is that a word? I, um, you know, blow dried it partially. It wasn't totally dry, like especially at the roots, so that's why it's all frizzy. Just blah. That's what happens when you're in a hurry. Alright, let's go back in with this a little bit. brush is shedding a little bit. Okay, there we go. Does it look even on both sides? Sometimes it's harder to tell on one side versus the other, you know? The lighting's always better on one side of your face, I think. Put a little more on this side because I can't see. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so now I'm going to apply the highlighter. And the highlighter in here is called Champagne. And it's just this one right there. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush brush, and I like this because it's kind of a flat blush brush. So I'm just going to apply that right there. Oof, pretty. Gorgeous. Give me some glow. The other palette like this, um, the one that came out, the Quillies or Aqua Lily or whatever it's called, that came out during the summertime is now on clearance or on sale at Sephora because it, you know, it's for summer and that's pretty much over. So it's like 28 bucks. I thought about getting it too because it's, I like this one. I'm loving this palette so far. So there we go. Got a nice little glow going on there. Alright, so for lips, I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Moxie, Mar Marvelous Moxie High Fly Lipstick. And this is what the cute little packaging looks like. So that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to use this. Oh, man, look at that. And it smells so good. This is like a must-have lipstick. Look how pretty it is. Gorgeous. It goes so well with that purple on the lid. Alright, so then I'm going to take my Maybelline Limited Edition Color Sensational High Shine Lip Gloss. This is from the new Fall two, 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 from the Fall 2013 collection. This is called Lavender Lavish, and it's just another like a lavender pinkish lip gloss. And I'm just going to put that on top, just a little, not too much. Alright guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. I really love my neutrals and I love purple. I just really love the way this came out. Like the purple, 
it's not like too intense of a purple it's just such a pretty purple with that like pretty light pink and then I just love this palette this is my first time using it but I think it's such a good value I love the packaging hold on so I love the packaging of it it's so nice um, it's very travel friendly because you get six eyeshadows, you get your blush, your highlighter, and your matte bronzer all in one palette. And it has a really big mirror so you can just go like this when you're putting it all on. And it has this little, uh, what do you call it? This little protector here, plastic protector, and it has all the names of everything on it so that's really nice too. Um, I think this is a really nice palette. You guys should totally check it out. I will put the link for it down below in the description box. But I love the way this came out. I hope you guys did too. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, bye!